Hi, my name is Associate Professor Karina van den Heuvel and I'm a lecturer in anatomy and pathology here at the University of Adelaide. I coordinate a third year course called Essentials of Pathology and in that course we teach students about the key pathological processes involved in human disease. For example, cell injury, inflammation, cardiovascular disease, diabetes and tumours. Tumours occur or are abnormal growths that develop in the body when cells multiply faster than they die. Broadly speaking, there are two types of tumours. There are benign tumours or malignant tumours. Benign tumours are often referred to as the good guys. They grow slowly and they are incapable of spreading anywhere else from their primary site, whereas malignant tumours are the bad guys. They grow very, very rapidly and usually do spread elsewhere in the body. The main causes of cancers, or even tumours in general, can be things like radiation, chemicals, even viruses. Sometimes even genetics can play a role in cancer development. And ultimately what those causes do is they can damage the DNA of the cells and it can cause mutations to the DNA. And these mutations lead to uncontrolled growth of the cancer cells, meaning they divide rapidly and they divide abnormally, leading to them being able to spread elsewhere in the body. So here in the Pathology Museum in the School of Medical Sciences, we try and excite students into the world of diseases. We don't like anything that's normal. It's all about the abnormal here in this room. Students can come in and view many different types of pathology specimens, ranging from the cardiovascular disease right through to the tumours. One of the tumours I want to talk to you about today is a lung cancer, a very common cancer that kills many people within Australia. This pot here is taken from a 67 year old male who smoked 50 cigarettes a day for approximately 30 to 40 years. The only symptoms he had was a productive cough that lasts for a few months. So he went to his doctor, a chest x-ray was done and this large invasive lesion was found on an x-ray. As you can see from this pot, this tumour shows all those features of being malignant. It is invasive, it is in infiltrating all of the lung and it's even infiltrating the lymph nodes. So this is certainly an example of a malignant tumour and not a benign tumour because a benign tumour cannot spread. So a couple of questions I have for you regarding tumours. And firstly, I want you to find out what is the leading cause of death in cigarette smokers. And you'll be surprised to know that it is not lung cancer. The second question I have for you is that, and going back to something I said earlier, was that cancers can be caused by certain chemicals, radiation and viruses. So I wonder if you can find out a cancer that is directly linked to a viral infection. And the last question I have is I want you to think of a few reasons or several reasons why untreated cancer is almost always fatal.